Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today I'm going to do a little highway patrol. We are currently sitting just north outside of Los Santos watching all the traffic going up to Sandy Shores. It is currently about 8, 8 in the morning, Monday morning. So we are going to run a little speed radar here and see if we can catch anybody speeding. Or we're, we're available for calls as well, so uh, we're going to see if we can catch any uh, calls. Also, the flags, just an FYI, something I typically cut out anyway. I don't really go for many flags. I'll go for the occasional one, but for the most part, I kind of leave flags alone. They just pop up way too often. Uh, it's probably something that I can edit in the I&I. &I. I just haven't done it. So, uh, yeah, today we're just going to run a little highway, see if we can catch any speeders. We're available for calls, if we can get any from there, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Alright, we just got a hit of an AMPR, and it's a AMPR hit for a violent road rage incident that happened earlier. That guy was going pretty fast, 70 miles an hour. Uh, but we already got this call. Looks like he's in the other road, just next to the highway. So we're going to go ahead and try to flip around here. See if we can catch up to that suspect and get a visual on the vehicle. So quickly, as we're going over there, just wanted to apologize for the last episode of LSPDFR. <clears throat> really wasn't feeling very good at all. I really wanted to get you guys an LSPDFR. Uh, wasn't feeling very well. The game was acting very just abnormal. Things were not working right or going right or anything like that. So I just didn't have the greatest time. And in reality, I probably should have just not recorded with the way I was feeling. So I just wasn't very into it. So I do apologize. It wasn't my greatest LSPDFR episode, but... You know, I really wanted to... Ooh, it looks like they're actually going to get on the highway. Uh, but I really wanted to make sure you guys had an episode and not skip out on another one. So, I, yeah. It just it wasn't my best, so I do apologize. Hopefully today will be a little bit better. I'm feeling much better. Allergies are practically not even existent. So, yeah. Should be nice. I think this is them there. What is that, a Buccaneer? What is this? No, it's a, a Chino. Here we go. Vapid Chino. Occupied times two. Go ahead and see what they're going to do here. If they're going to exit the highway, that would be much better. But we're going to run the plate real quick. See who, is it, who it's coming back registered to. These Suspect people or the owner of the vehicle two, is nine, wanted for uh, violent road rage. Two, five, uh, Joey six, Seuss? Seuss, I guess. Bench warrant for the registered owner to citations. And uh, we'll find out what they're going to do here when they get off the highway. Where they're going to go. And uh, we'll pull them over once we get through this red light. It looks like they might try to be getting onto the two, going eastbound on the Del Piro. Uh, we'll see, though. Wait for this light to turn green. But yeah, so we're using uh, the CHP pack. Link is in the description. Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, God, what is this guy doing? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, God. Okay. He's going to get down. She's staying right there, which is good. She's going to get him down on the ground. He was the one acting strange. Let's get her down. We'll put them both in cuffs. Didn't even get a chance to pull them over. They just hopped out. Well, I'm glad they didn't do anything violent. All right, we're going to go ahead and place her in cuffs real quick. And uh, we'll place him in cuffs, and we'll try to figure out what's going on here. She is the registered owner of the vehicle. So she is the one with the bench warrant. He is a passenger. He might not be involved, but we're going to check both of them. Yeah, that, I don't know what they were going to do there, but uh, <laughs> they didn't even get through the red light. I'm pretty sure they were going to try to get back on the highway, and I was going to pull them over, but another one? We have another AMPR hit for drugs being transported internationally. We'll go ahead and take care of that in a minute. The reason why I accept the AMPR call out so soon is just because, uh, ooh, I found a baggie of counterfeit money on the driver. That's really not good. Uh, the reason why I accept the AMPR call outs uh, so early is they, they last a while. They don't bug out from being, you know, active for too long or anything like that, which is actually really nice. So, what am I doing here? Okay. All right, so they're both in custody. I'm going to breathalyze her because she was the driver. I don't know about him right now. He is going to be kind of, uh, uh, what do you say? He's just going to be detained for now until we can figure out what the situation is. We're going to search the vehicle while both of them... She doesn't have any alcohol in her system, so she's not driving intoxicated. Hey, a Zach Houseneck shirt. I wonder if it's the uh, Zach in it shirt. Or the Seems Legit shirt. I don't know. Uh, some sort of phone charger. 
Anything on the passenger side is going to determine whether the passenger is going to be in trouble or not. Uh, nope. Festive ornaments. Okay. So nothing of interest on the vehicle, which is good. It's going to be towed away because the driver is going to go in custody. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run their names real quick, or at least one of their names. Frank Miller, this is the uh, passenger here. So we'll go ahead and run his name, see what... Ooh, he is standing up in the car. Uh, he's valid, doesn't have any active warrants. So I'm going to go ahead and have him step out of the vehicle. What is he doing? Uh, okay. This is a little broken. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oops. Alright, there we go. Now we can have a chat with him. Go ahead and have him stand back up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and release him since he doesn't have any warrants. He's probably not involved. He's not a part of the registered owner or anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and have him get out of here. <clears throat> he's going to try to take the vehicle away, I think. Possibly. I don't really know what he's doing. Yep, he's going to try to drive the vehicle away. We're going to go ahead and... Which I'm actually... I guess... Nope. All right. He is not going to drive it away. He's getting towed. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, she is wanted by the LS uh, Sheriff's Department. Los Santos Sheriff's Department. And uh, she is going to go to jail for that counterfeit money she had in her pocket, too. Jeez, man. I'm not... I don't know how to drive today. So I'm going to go ahead and call prisoner transport to come pick her up. And then once she is picked up, then we'll head over to that uh, other ANPR hit for the uh, international drug dealing, uh, which should be a pretty interesting thing. Typically, those people run and they throw drugs out the window. So it's going to be a pretty interesting pursuit once we get over there. Well, I think it's going to be a pursuit. Who knows? As long as I don't get tased a bunch of times on the ground and my car doesn't blow up, I'll be fine with whatever the outcome is, really. <laughs> so, uh, she's being picked up. Quickly fix and repair my car here, fix and clean it. And uh, we'll flip around, we'll head over there to the uh, other NPR hit and uh, try to get a description on that vehicle. All right, looks like we have visual. They're pro I think that's an exemplar they're driving there. I'm going to wait to see what they do on this green. I don't want to get behind them because I don't want to have the same situation happen where they just got out from sitting at that light for too long. So we haven't quite discovered the vehicle yet. But we're just going to go and sit here and wait for a good opportunity to get behind them and pull them over. We'll see if they're going to go straight or what they're going to do. They're going to go straight. Yep, they're an exemplar. Gray exemplar occupied times two. I'm going to go ahead and get behind them and light them up here. Oh, God, sorry. Go and see what they do. And they're taking off. All right, we're going to be in pursuit. Got to keep an eye out for any uh, evidence being thrown out the window. Ooh. Billy Jones, registered owner of the vehicle. Man, they did a full 360. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, watch out, ruiner. Keep an eye on the ground, making sure they're not throwing anything out. Is this it? Nope. They're going to push their way through. All right. Continue the pursuit. Oh, God, people. Trying to keep an eye on the ground here, making sure they're, I'm not going to miss a piece of evidence. As of right now, I haven't seen anything. I don't think they've thrown anything out. Oh, there's one. Small something back there. White package. Small white package. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be able to box them in here. No, they're going to squeeze by. Oh, damn it. Every time I go to get out of my car, they take off. They squeeze by. Oh, jeez. Where are they now? Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. Get the driver. Get the driver. Get the driver. Oh, no. Oh, he tripped. He tripped. He tripped. He tripped. Get him down. Get him down. Shit. Come on. Come on. Get down. What is this jacket you're wearing? It's amazing. The eagle? That's awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and place him in cuffs. And then we need to go for the passenger who's running down the street currently. Billy Jones. This is the registered owner. We're going to search him real quick. We need to go get that passenger as well before uh, she takes off. Gets too far away. She might be involved. Considering that she's running, I think she's definitely going to be involved. Unless those other officers are going to get her, which hopefully they are. Because uh, I would like to stay with the vehicle. 
Was that a picture of John Cena? Seems legit. Is that, a, is that drugs right there on the side of the ground? No, I think that's a bag. I think they only threw one piece of evidence out, to be honest. That's all I saw, at least. All right, I fruit, uh, 6S case. Yeah, I think that's just a bag on the ground right there. I don't think that's drug related. And a racing trophy. Okay, so nothing of interest in the vehicle. What are you doing out of the car, dude? Not what I said to do. All right, let's go ahead and get him back in. Don't know why he got out in the first place. Okay. We'll run his name. Just to confirm he does, in fact, have a warrant. Billy Jones. No active warrants. That's a little strange. Hmm. I'm just going to run over this object here. I don't know if that's... No, not a piece of evidence. Okay. So, let's go ahead and head back and pick up that last... That one piece of evidence that they uh, threw out. The only piece that I saw. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Coming through. All right. Last piece is... Or the only piece is going to be up here on the other side. We'll pick this up and then we'll go through the court process and see what kind of charges they're going to get. Or I think the I think they arrested the passenger. I'm not really sure. This is the only piece of evidence that I saw. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the court process here, and we'll find out uh, find out what they get. All right. So traffic officer Bugs presents one piece of evidence to the court. The driver Billy Jones was found guilty of dangerous driving, resisting arrest, and medium scale drug dealing. Uh, Billy Jones was jailed for a total of nine years as a result. The passenger, Kate Tipp, was found guilty of resisting arrest and medium-scale drug dealing. And Kate Tipp was jailed for a total of seven years as a result. So they were both involved in drug dealing, so they're both going to go down for it. Unfortunately, I missed one piece of evidence. It must have been a, a time that they got out of sight or got a block away or something. I didn't see another piece of evidence anywhere, so. But we got that code forward, got both of them arrested. We're good. Everything is, uh, everything's good. Code four, he's taken to jail and all that. So we're going to go ahead and get back on the highway to our spot that we were sitting at originally. Really? Another AMPR hit. <laughs> what is going on? Organized grand shoplifting for this one. Uh, looks like they're going to be on the highway system here, which is going to be a little bit of an issue to get down to that. Uh, unless they're going to exit. Where are they going? I think... Okay, hold on. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. We're good. We can get on here and follow them. Yep, they're going to be up here. Perfect. All right, I was a little concerned about where they were on the highway and where they're heading because uh, this highway system around here can get pretty messed up. You can take a lot of different ways. All right, occupied times two. This orange uh, prairie. I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt a traffic stop here. See if they're going to come to a stop. This They're wanted for grand shoplifting. So they shouldn't run. They shouldn't be that desperate. Not for shoplifting, at least. Uh, Holden Galliard. No insurance on the vehicle. Okay, that's a pretty good spot. Stop them. Go ahead and have a chat with them real quick. See if they're... Hopefully they don't run. Hello. How you doing? Go ahead and give me your ID real quick. Gonna run your name. God, that CHP car is amazing. Looks so good. All right, this is, in fact, the registered owner. Let's confirm that warrant real quick. And then we'll go from there. Hopefully get him out of the vehicle. Yep, he's wanted by the Los Santos Police Department. Valid license. Oh, shit. All right, he's taking off. Why would you take off after you give the officer your license? I don't understand that. Uh. What? Oh, okay. Oh, they're bugged out. That's what's happening here. Oh, nope. Okay. Yeah, no, they're running. Right? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> they were acting like they weren't running there for a second. All right, so we're just going to stick with them for now. We'll see if we can get them stuck somewhere, pin them in, pull them out of the, uh, the helicopter. I saw that helicopter right back there, and I was like, hmm. 
pull them out of the car if we can. Hopefully get themselves stuck. Sounds like we have a backup unit. Yep, city unit here. Oh, God. Get out. Get out of the car. Get out. Get out of the car. Get out. Get out. Oh, he has a weapon? Get on the ground. 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 Both of you on the ground. Both of you on the ground. Both of you on the ground. Down, 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 down. Yep, lay on top of each other. There we go. All right. Got the driver in custody. The passenger might be involved. We're not sure yet. We're going to find out in a second. Joseph Clark. All right. As of right now, they're both going to be detained. Uh, where the driver is definitely going to go to jail. We've already confirmed that that warrant that the driver has. So we're just going to make sure that the... Oh. Which one had spare change on them? Oop. Okay, searching the car. I was trying to search them. <laughs> Shaved keys on the passenger side. That's not good. Oh my god, are you blind? Okay, I think I'm searching the driver now. Okay, yeah. So the passenger didn't really have anything like a, a phone and whatnot. Not that big of a deal. Alright, let's get him in the back of the vehicle here and then we'll search uh, the passenger's name. That passenger is not looking very good for him. Oh god, oh god, oh god, please stop. No, no, no. No, stop. Don't get put. Move, dude. Who runs over a cop and then just parks on their face? Seriously? What is happening? There we go. All right, come on, Joseph. Either get in or teleport in. One or the other. Okay. We need to... This is a mess. We need to flip around here and try to clean this scene up a little bit. I think I hear gunshots, or I heard gunshots. Do I have a gun? What's happening? Oh, good. The car disappeared. Great. That's not good. Okay, dude. Seriously? You don't want to get in the car at all? Okay. All right, let's just go ahead and try to run his name. What was it? Joseph Clark? No, that wasn't it at all. Okay, this is getting... <laughs> this is getting annoying. Uh, No, they don't have his name on there. Perfect. Dude. You need to... Get in the... What? I can't do anything with you. What'd you say? Say that's fucked? I seriously can't do anything with him. I'm going to go ahead and call prisoner transport for the driver. Hopefully uh, that will kind of help this situation out. Otherwise, we're a little bit broken. Actually, I'm just going to call two prisoner transports to pick both of them up. Oh, oh, now he's in the back. Okay, good. What is happening with that car alarm? Why? Why are your flashers on and you're honking the horn? Good God, this is a mess. This is a mess. Okay, so the driver's out. I'm gonna run the passenger's name, but I can't because they're not gonna give it to me for some reason. Good. All right, well, you know what? They're both gonna end up going to jail. I couldn't search the passenger's name, but there's shaped keys on the passenger side of that car, so very well could have been his or hers. I'm gonna say his. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this scene code four. Hopefully he'll get in the vehicle and get out of here because he's bugged out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, we'll, we'll return to our spot, see if we can get another call. Maybe we'll even get another ANPR call because, man, those have been coming out like crazy. So we're going to go ahead and get back in our spots and uh, continue the patrol. Oh, we have a felon doing 73 miles an hour, number one lane. Going to go ahead and get behind them, run their plate. We'll perform a traffic stop on them when we get to the right spot. Oh, man. They're continuing to speed up. All right. What's coming back on the plate? <clears throat> Suspect's license plate. Six, eight, king. Going to line them up David, here. Six, oh, God. Two, nine. Proceed with caution. Calvin Greenham. Uh, owner's license is expired, and he's taken off. We're going to be in pursuit. Probably running because he knows his license is expired. 
But uh, he thought about it for a second and just decided to take off. So we're going to stick with him for now. Uh, we might be able to do a pit if we can get him to a slow enough speed, but 75, 80 miles an hour, not slow enough to do a pit, that's for sure. So we're just going to stick with him and see what we can do. Oh, okay. A little bit all over the place. Oh, God. Oh, we got some backup units coming out of prison, it looks like. Uh-oh. We have a couple. What is that, like three of them? Oh, God, this is going to get interesting. You going to take the exit? Nope. Hmm. They might not even be able to get on the highway, but we might lose those backup units. Oh, God. Traffic, 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 traffic. Good Lord. All right, we might not be able to get him slow enough, but if we can, we'll try to go for a pit when the traffic's clear, we have a gap in the traffic, see if that'll stop. And the only thing I'm scared about doing a pit is they always seem to drive oncoming lanes after a pit. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what he does. Here's a good chance. There we go. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, I am not going to let you drive on coming lanes. Come on, guys. Help me. Pin him in. There we go. Get out. Get out. Get on the ground. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. All right, both of them are getting down. Come on. We're going to arrest the pass or the driver. Get the driver in cuffs. Calvin Greenham, driving on an expired license. We'll try to find out why else he took off. Maybe he, there, there's another reason besides the driving on expired. Passenger, Corvo, and what? Antino? Probably not right at all. Oops. Actually, let's just quickly search him. We'll search the driver, make sure he has nothing on him. Yeah, some ecstasy on the driver. Maybe, maybe that's why he took off. He has drugs on him. That could be a very easy reason why he decided to take off. So let's go ahead and get him up. We'll get them in my vehicle. And then uh, we'll try to deal with uh, the car real quick so we can get it towed out of here. Oh, really? Both of you are going to be... Okay. This is the passenger we're running. So he is valid, doesn't have any active warrants. Good. So that cop is just going to kill that guy in that truck. So the driver is in fact expired. Which is unfortunate, but he ran, I'm thinking he ran because of the, uh, the ecstasy in his pocket. That's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, also, quickly, while we're here, and while we're currently getting... Okay, you know what? We're going to stop all traffic on this road because this is ridiculous. Okay. All right. We're going to breathalyze him because that could be another reason why he ran. Uh, nope. He has been drinking. He's not over the legal limit. He's close, but he's not over. Search the vehicle real quick. Uh, Rob's liquor gift card <laughs> might explain why he's been drinking. And uh, we'll search the trunk, then we'll actually... Passenger, as of right now, has not done anything. He's valid, doesn't have any active warrants, doesn't have anything on him. I uh, don't think he's been drinking. So, a bottle of hair gel, yep. So the passenger has nothing. He's not He's not going to go to jail for anything. He didn't have anything going on. Uh, the driver, though, is going to... Uh, is going to go to jail, so what we're going to do is just get the passenger out here, release him, and then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, call a prisoner transport to come, oop, come on, there we go, almost had it, there you go. Alright, release him, we're going to call a prisoner transport to come pick up the driver, he is going to be going to jail, and uh... We're going to clean up this roadway here, trying to get the road reopened. Is, is that guy drunk? The passenger drunk? Just walking on the street? He looks pretty drunk. That's bad. That cop is missing a tire. Jesus. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, next time, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a sheriff motorcycle unit and uh, head on out to, like, Grapeseed or Sandy Shores or something because uh, we haven't done that in a while. We haven't ridden a motorcycle in a city, and I don't really want to go into Los Santos. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to that, and uh, we will be right back.